Hi friends, Rev Janet Jones from High Country United Church up in Camilla, Ontario, here with you in the spare room in Orangeville again on this Friday, July the 17th. So this week we've been reflecting and thinking about writing and uh, so I've issued a few challenges. Uh, writing a letter to another member of the congregation or members just to let them know that you're thinking about them. Um, it could be a card even. <laughs> um, writing a letter to ourselves for encouragement because often we are our hardest critics. And uh, another one was writing down some memories of the church that we can kind of compile at the church so we can share some of the fond things that we're maybe missing now or you know some of the family memories that have been through our lives. Today um, I was thinking a little simpler. What if we took out our Bible and you can even Google if needed. BibleGateway.com is a great resource when you're not sure what you're looking for. So, um, and I encourage you to uh, write um, a, a scripture that speaks to your heart or can kind of set you right for each day. Um, <clears throat> and either put it on a sticky note, put it in your Bible or in your bathroom or somewhere where you might see it. And again, I, I think I mentioned this before, if you can kind of put these favorite verses and stuff, highlight them or uh, put those, you know, those arrow stickers in, um, it is a great thing for kids and grandkids to find down the road. Um, what scripture would call to me most of my days? Um, and I think there, there's definitely a psalm and I can't remember exactly which one, so I'd be using <laughs> Bible Gateway today. And um, it, it'd be something about uh, praising for the morning. Because uh, some mornings are hard to get up. This morning I was like, oh, okay, I can do this. This like, I gotta be up and out of the house before nine. I gotta get my, <laughs> so it was one of those, okay, we'll get through the day. So um, I just try to find a scripture that would calm my soul. And sometimes Google has some good ones. And uh, yeah, just, to find something. Actually, it might not even be a bad thing to have in your car if you're one of those uh, anxious or less than happy drivers <laughs> as you drive around. Um, or if you know that, uh, you know, stores, when you go into stores, it makes you a little, uh, s sets you off a little in a little way. That might be a good thing to come back to in your car. Anyway, so if you're looking for some help for some of those, send me a message. I'd love to help you find something that uh, might really speak to your heart. Um, many times it's a song for me, that's why I'm like, I'm going to be looking at a song and I know there's a song that's attached to that song <laughs> and I just can't come up with it right now because I haven't had my tea yet. <laughs> but friends, I'm going to leave that with you today um, to find a scripture to kind of help you set your day and put it somewhere where you can actually see it every day. Maybe it's on the bacon in the fridge. <laughs> Coffee pot would be a good spot, maybe. Anyway, will you pray with me? God of great joy and great love, we thank you for this day. I think the sun is out. Well, it's not dark, so that's a good sign. Um, we ask you to be with us wherever we go and whatever we do. And um, may you be a shining example of hope through us in some way. God, be with us as we journey through the day and until we see each other tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends, I guess I'll see you at prayers tonight for 8 o'clock. I'm online at 7.55 as usual. And um, tomorrow we have our daily reflection. It'll be posted for 9.30 because it's Saturday. Tech stuff work today. It'll be great. Oh, <laughs> Please, technology, be with me. All right. <laughs> Have a great day. And for now, this is Rev Jan, as always, saying, friends, God is with you.